interior and exterior finishes. The most common used finish on the inside of the walls is drywall, and it can be fastened directly to the webs. You can also use wood paneling or a thin veneer stone, such as tiles. They all work well. Electrical and plumbing. Location of electrical boxes marked and cut out. Use the electric chainsaw or hot knife to cut the groove for the electrical wire to follow along the walls. You push the wire in a groove and then you, you make sure that you use a single wire per groove. And you feed your wire into the box. When you attach the electrical boxes to the webs using a side mount flange box, it's the most common, it gets screwed into the side of the web. And then the R22 requires a shallow box and the R30 you can use the regular depth boxes. When it comes to the plumbing, you just cut out wherever you need to put a pipe. Most times the exterior walls do not have water lines run in it, so it's not a very common situation. Here's an example of a hot knife used with an attachment to cut out the actual electrical boxes. Exterior finishes. On the exterior, there's all kinds of options. Siding, whether it's wood, vinyl, or composite. In most cases, it requires strapping, so you need to conform to the manufacturer's specifications. A stucco system, uh, tr uh, traditionally, it can be applied directly to the EPS. Uh, sometimes you may need a drainage layer, and whether or not you use masonry, which you have to make sure you have your air gap and a brick ledge to supply the support for such.